Rwanda. Now let's bring you the latest on a mother case of Omobolani Rahim. Now to ensure justice is done in that case, the Lagos Commission of Police has ordered the transfer of all policemen serving at the Aja police station. The police public relations officer of the Lagos Command, Benjamin Hudei, in a telephone call with TVC News senior reporter Ivy Kanu, confirmed this latest development. The police officers drawn from the command are expected to take up new responsibilities at other stations. And police public relations officer, Lagos Command, Benjamin Hudei, joins me now to discuss this developing story. Good to have you join us. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, following the, your tweet um, and, and your conversation with uh, senior correspondent Ivy Kano, we understand that um, the officers at the Aja police station have, have now been transferred. But how, how and, and why was this decision reached? Well, the decision was taken by the Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, um, CP Abiodun Alaki. Uh, and this decision um, was taken on the 25th of December last year, after um, the killing of the, of the lawyer. And um, when the NBA visited the Commissioner of Police the next day, 26th of December, and the CP actually told them of his plan to, to change all the officers there. So, um, and a few days after, the, the plan was perfected. And um, in, the, in the coming days, this should have materialized fully. So this was taken in order to improve professionalism because there were complaints that uh, many of these officers had overstayed there and that they had already uh, formed a kind of bond with some of the bad boys in the area. Mm. But there, there are those who, who, who would look at this and say perhaps this is not enough um, for the officers to just be transferred. Uh, what about discipline and, and reorientation? Yes, um, this um, transfer to this transfer to is part of uh, measures being taken to to instill discipline. And um, when we talk of discipline, too, um, we we deal uh, with it on an individual basis. For those officers that have been found wanting, then they will be disciplined accordingly. Um, so this transfer uh, is something that we we'll do to ensure that we show up professionalism. And if the need arises, other measures will be taken in addition to the transfer. Is there going to be a close monitoring of these officers who have not been transferred? Definitely, definitely. They are, they are being scattered around Lagos. They are not all going to the same place. And they are being, um, the, the, the new DPOs they will be working on that will have, um, already have um, strict instructions to monitor their behavior to ensure that um, they don't bring any form of um, unprofessional behavior to their new domain. Mm. But this is, um, this is not just about, we know that, yeah, when we talk about police brutality and extrajudicial killing, especially brutality, yes, sometimes it results to death, but sometimes it is also about harassment and extortion. Um, and this is not just a Lagos state or an Aja police station problem. This is a national problem. So what is the, because I, I, I know you cannot begin to transfer all officers. What exactly is the police doing to ensure that this issue is dealt with nationally? Well, the, the fact remains that um, it might be underreported, though, um, but for people who have um, come forward to complain about um, police brutality and harassment, um, they can um, attest to it that these officers um, were being punished or were punished. They can attest to it as we look into these um, complaints. So, like I said while I'm answering the previous question, we, we, we take these on an individual basis. For every officer, there are laid down rules that we follow. So for every officer who is found to have um, misused this office, his powers, who, who is found to have harassed or extorted um, civilians, it will be taken in and um, dealt with accordingly. And in terms of reorientation, yes, that is going on. And for, for each officer that goes for uh, a refresher course or that goes for a promotion course, these are part of things that we keep um, talking about. We even invite NGOs. Uh, who specialize on, in human rights um, training to, to come and speak to some of these officers. So uh, it's multifaceted to also ensure that uh, we, we get better at our jobs. So I, I have like two questions in one, and I hope that you'll be able to quickly just help us answer them. And um, one of them is that we understand there were shanties built around the, um, the Aja police station. 
what were those sh which have now been uh, pulled down? What were those shanties used for? And then um, what what is the latest you can tell us about ASP um, Drum B Vandy, the, the, the alleged killer of Bolale Rahim? ASP Drum B Vandy, the, the matter is in court. So we expect um, journalists to be in court on January 30th, 2023. That's when the next hearing will be to follow up with uh, proceedings. And for the shanties, well, they are not exactly next to the police station. They are not exactly resting on the walls of the police station. They are, they are some distance from the police station, but still, um, they are within trekking distance. So it's, it was easy for police officers to just trek um, there and um, get drunk. So these chances have been pulled down to ensure that um, police officers remain sober when on duty as it should be. All right, thank you so much for talking to us. We have our eyes on this story. We'll continue to monitor. Uh, Police Public Relations Officer, Lagos Command, Benjamin Hujain. Thank you.